Hello people, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. My topic for today is com competency-based curriculum in Kenya or what you call the 26333 system that we have in Kenya. And I will take you through what uh, central, uh, what uh, com uh, what CBC uh, stands for and the values and the core competencies and the structures and it goes like this the Kenyan competency based curriculum or the CBC is a new system of education designed by the Kenya Institute of Curriculum Development that is CICD team and launched by the Ministry of Education in 2017. And uh, the CBC is designed to emphasize the significance of developing skills and knowledge and also applying those competencies in real life situations. So CBC was designed to enhance students uh, uh, to develop skills so that people would would have enough skills in their day-to-day -day lives and uh, uh, 844 uh, CBC was designed to to tackle the issues that the 844 system in Kenya had uh, that is in terms of skill development and so that people will not acquire so that people not just uh, get good grades only and not have enough skills so i'll take you through the seven core competencies of cbc and they include the following uh, communication and collaboration critical thinking and problem solving imagination and creativity citizenship learning to to learn self-efficiency uh, efficacy and digital literacy and the core values of cbc are love responsibility unity peace patriotism and integrity and i'll take you through the structure of the competency based curriculum or the 26333 education system one pre-primary which takes only two years and this is the entry level for all learners and it takes two years so uh, in order to begin education one has to go through a uh, pre-primary education uh, and those that are do that they are aged between three to six years old and um, the subjects are language activities mathematical activities psychomotor uh, creative activities and religious education activities number two lower primary uh, which takes three years and the learners will spend three years at this level before graduating to upper primary and the ones who, who are doing lower primary are between grade one to grade three and the ones who are in grade one to grade three are in the age category, age category between seven to, to nine years old and the subjects taught are uh, Kiswahili, English, Literacy, Mother Tongue, Science, Social Studies, and Agricultural Activities. Uh, number three, Upper Primary. That is from grade four to six. Uh, and those ones, they are aged between 
uh, 10 to 12. And the subjects taught there are Kiswahili, English, Mathematics, Home Science, Agriculture, Science and Technology, Creative Arts, that is Art, Craft and Music, Moral and Life Skills, Physical and Health Education, Social Studies, that is uh, Citizenship, History and Geography, and an option of foreign languages, that is uh, French, German, Chinese and Arabic. Number four, junior secondary. That is from grade six, grade seven to grade nine. And this one uh, takes like three years. And the graduates of upper primary will join uh, junior secondary at grade seven and this one it takes three years and the 12 course subjects are mathematics english kiswahili life skills health education social studies integrated science business studies religious education agriculture life skills sports and physical education and learners are to choose those subjects that that perfectly suit their career choices personalities abilities and interests so the ones that are in lower secondary school they have to choose uh, uh, those subjects that 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 they are good at the, those subjects that they like the ones that can help them to further their career and uh, the optional subjects are uh, home science, foreign languages, Kenya, Kenyan sign languages, indigenous languages, visual arts, performing arts, Arabic and computer science. And uh, number five, uh, senior secondary school. That is from grade 10 to grade 12. And this one takes three years and this one takes three years and its completion will mark the end of basic education and the three areas of specialization are uh, number number one arts and sports science this one includes sports performing arts visual arts uh, this this category uh, if you choose if one is to choose uh, this category, one would be able to be good at uh, in, in sports activities, one like football, basketball, rugby, athletics, uh, handball, all kinds of sports that are there. And uh, uh, you can also do like music, you can do art and craft, you can do um, ne. yeah, those, those activities. Number two, social sciences. This one includes languages and literature, humanities and business studies. So in this category, uh, you'll do languages, for example, English, Israeli, uh, French, German, Arabic. You'll do uh, set books in English. You'll do set books in Kiswahili. You'll do set books in French, German. Uh, and in social sciences and uh, in humanities, you do subjects like like history, geography, CRE, uh, IRE and uh, one will do business studies in this category number three science technology engineering and mathematics this one includes pure sciences for example uh, 
physics, biology, chemistry, uh, applied sciences, uh, even mathematics in pure sciences. In applied sciences, you'll do subjects like agriculture, home science. Yeah, this technical and engineering careers and technology studies. That one will cover like robotology. We'll come up with um, new with inventions here and there. And the school will choose to focus on one or more area of specialization depending on the ability to acquire the, the infrastructure necessary for acquisition of the identified competencies. So the school can can choose to focus on one of these categories depending on whether the school will be able to acquire uh, enough infra infrastructure to come up with the need to come up with, uh, with the equipment for learning. So maybe if a school like has like sufficient laboratories, uh, one would be able to do uh, practicals for, uh, in the sciences or even uh, music instruments for those that that are involved in music, uh, even uh, art, art and craft rooms, those ones. And finally, number six, university. This one takes three years. This one, after students are through with uh, senior secondary school, they will join university and they'll be able to to do the courses that they like and yeah that is all that i have for the competency based curriculum or the 26333 in kenya if you've learned something from this video you can comment down below and have a good day